What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. In this video, I'm going to show how you can properly combine your lighting render passes of the CG elements in your scene in order to have more complete control in your compositing process. Now, a lot of the time and in previous videos, I render out just a very basic beauty pass of the element that I'm going to add to the live action shot. And uh, then I just kind of tweak the color correction and overlay some other elements on top of it in order to get the final result. But this process I'm going to show in this video can give you a lot more control over the final output of the overlaid element. But anyways, guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. I'm going to be using this uh, burning airliner flyover shot as the starting point of this tutorial, but feel free to apply these techniques to any project of your choice, of course. For this specific scene, as you can see, I have several different elements here. We have our Spiderfy add-on birds in the foreground. We have some banners here added in the midground, and uh, you know, some burning elements, sparks, and of course our airliner in the background. But for this specific tutorial, I just wanna focus on combining those different lighting render passes to uh, kind of get this jet to be composited off in the background here. So I've just deleted all of our other view layers here as well as the other 3D elements in our scene. So this will be our starting point for the tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is enable the render passes that you want to recombine in your compositing process. So to do that, what you're going to do is just go to the view layer properties tab here and under the passes tab, you can choose all the different passes that you want to output to use in your compositing process. I've selected the combined to beauty pass. I've also selected a Z pass, but I don't think we'll need this for the sake of this tutorial. So I'll go ahead and deselect that one. And um, I don't think we need the material index pass either. The main passes that we're going to combine in this tutorial are our diffuse, direct, indirect, and color, our glossy, direct, indirect, and color, our transmission, direct, indirect, and color. And I'm also going to have our emission and ambient occlusion passes selected as well. But these main nine passes are the ones you're going to want to use most of the time. If you have a volume your scene obviously you want to use the volume direct and indirect as well and pretty much use the same techniques that i'm going to show in this video as i'll show with the diffuse glossy and transmission passes anyways with all of these passes selected i'll just go to render and render image and blender will go ahead and render our files so that we can start compositing it over our final shot all right guys so this result here contains some of the compositing techniques that i used on this project prior to this tutorial so i'll go ahead and close our render preview here and go to the compositing tab and uh, this was the node setup from the previous video that I used to combine all of the different elements but for this specific video obviously I don't need all of this data so I'm just going to go ahead and delete some of them and clean it up a bit. All right guys so this is going to be the starting point of our compositing process. What we have here is our live action shot in the top left going into a scale node that just fits our live action shot to our render size and then we just overlaid our airliner beauty pass on top of our uh, footage here and then output that to a view and composite node. And as I mentioned, a lot of the time for compositing, what I might do is just kind of adjust this uh, airliner beauty pass that we have going into this alpha over node. Maybe add, you know, a little uh, RGB curves or something. Maybe bring it down a bit to adjust the color, etc. And just adjust this very basic beauty pass of our airliner on top of our footage. But rather than using the image output of our beauty pass of our airliner, I'm going to recombine all of our different lighting passes here to have a lot more control over the final result. So I'll go ahead and pull our beauty pass image from our alpha over node here and start recombining these passes. So I'll go ahead and press shift A and I will add a mix node and I'm going to change this mix node to add. And the first two passes we're going to add together are our diffuse direct and diffuse indirect. So I'll take this one, add it to the top input here and take our diffuse indirect to the bottom. And then I'm going to duplicate this mix node. And now we're going to switch this to multiply and we're going to take the diffuse color pass and add it to the second input of this multiply multiply node and then we're going to take our diffuse direct and diffuse indirect that we've added together here with this node and put it into the top input here. And that is the general process that we can use to combine our different lighting passes together. So we'll do the same thing for our glossy direct, glossy indirect, and glossy color. So I'll go ahead and just select both of these really quick and duplicate them using shift D. And I'll also just kind of make these smaller here just so we can have a little bit cleaner workflow. So now I'll take the glossy direct and the glossy indirect and add them together here. And then just like we've done for the diffuse passes, I'll take our glossy color and put it into the bottom node of our multiply node, like so. And finally, we'll duplicate these once more for our transmission lighting passes. And I'll uh, open these up. I'll take our transmission direct and transmission indirect and add them together. And then I'll take our transmission color information and plug it into the second input of our multiply node. 
All right, so now that we have combined the types of our diffuse, glossy, and transmission nodes together, we need to combine all of these together to create our final image. So I'll go ahead and press Shift A. I'll add a mix node once more, and we'll switch this to add as well. And first I will combine our diffuse and glossy passes. So I'll just add these right here. Then I will duplicate this add node and take our first add node to the first input of this add node and take our combined transmission pass here and put it into the second input as well. So now that we have combined all of our different lighting passes here with these add and multiply nodes properly, we can take this final output here and put it into our alpha over node, just like we did for our beauty pass originally. And our airplane here is exactly the same as our combined beauty pass, because as you can see here, all of the uh, factors for our various nodes that we've added are at one. But of course you can adjust these to get a different final output for our airplane here. So for example, if you want less glossiness on our plane in general, what we can do is we can take our add node here where we've added our diffuse and our glossy together and bring our factor to zero. And now as you can see here, this is purely our diffuse material. So I'll bring that back to one. You can also play around with the diffuse direct diffuse indirect and the diffuse color. So for example, if you don't want to multiply times your diffuse color quite as much, you can bring down your factor here. And as you can see, looking quite a bit different there. So uh, this is just how you can have a lot more control over the general image. As you can see, if I uh, go to where we've added our diffuse direct and diffuse indirect, I can bring down the factor here to zero. And you can see what's happening there. The indirect lighting of our beauty pass disappears because we've taken our factor down to zero. So you can kind of see where this is going. You can have a lot more control over the individual lighting passes when you're combining it over your final shot and of course you can also you know add effects before and after these node inputs to have more complete control over your final shot but this is the general concept here I'll just leave everything at a factor of one for now now as you might have noticed our airplane is showing up nicely here but we don't have our uh, live action footage in our background and that's because we need to set the alpha of our view layer containing our airliner here so what I'm going to do is I'll uh, press shift a I'll add a converter set alpha add this right before our alpha over node and then I'll take the alpha channel output for this render layer and plug it into the alpha input here and now as you can see we're back where we started initially where we uh, just took our beauty pass and overlaid it on top of our live action shot but we have a lot more control in between that entire process so this is the general concept here regarding combining different passes on top of each other we have a few more passes that we can combine here such as the ambient occlusion and the emission pass here I have an emission material where the engine is so that it looks like it's on fire when we add some glow to it in addition to the simulation so I'll go ahead and show you guys that really quick as well so to add our emission pass and combine it on top of our airline render here I'll just move our set alpha over node here I'll press shift D and duplicate this add node here and then I will take our emission pass here and plug it into this bottom portion of our add node and as you can see here our emission material is showing up just fine and uh, one thing we can do to make this emission material look a little bit nicer is we can add some glare to it for example so I can press shift a I will add a filter glare add this right before our add node change it to fog glow maybe bring down the threshold to zero and now as you can see here it's glowing a bit and the glow is looking all right however it's not glowing where the sky is so actually one thing I need to do for our emission pass only is actually add it after we've uh, used our set alpha node here so what I'll do is I'll move the rest of our lighting passes to our set alpha node as we had originally and then I will reconnect this add node after our set alpha and then recombine our emission pass here and now as you can see here our glow is overlapping on top of our live action shot as well because we've set our our alpha channel before we composited it on top of our live action shot all right so to continue I also want to add some ambient occlusion on top of our airliner here so there are several ways we can combine our ambient occlusion and add some more shading on our airliner here I'm going to add our ambient occlusion before our set alpha as well as our uh, glow that we've added so I'll just duplicate this uh, add node here add it right before our set alpha I'll open it up here and uh, we want to switch this to multiply and then I'm going to take our ambient occlusion output from this view layer and add it to our multiply node here and now as you can see here we've added some nice shading on top of our jet which kind of integrates it into the scene a bit better for ambient occlusion I believe the standard is using multiply but feel free to play around with other blending modes as well depending on the look you're going for 
but this is how you can combine all of your different render passes together using some add and multiply nodes. One more thing I might do just to bring our airliner into the live action shot a bit better is uh, just add a very basic mix node with the color of our sky here overlaid on top of our jet. So I'll press shift A, I'll add a color mix, add this right before our alpha over node. Actually, I'll add it right before our set alpha node so that now as you can see here we are mixing our airliner render with our white color here and what i want to do is i want to switch this color to kind of the color of our sky and then we're going to dial back the factor here and i've covered this in previous videos but one of the main things you can do to uh, enhance how your distant elements look in the shot is add a little bit of atmospheric fall off to your scene so as things get further off into the distance generally they lose a little bit of contrast as well as saturation so by just doing a very simple mix node or sometimes you can use a mist pass even but this is the easier way to do it for simple shots you can just add a little overlay of the general color of the sky and help composite it into the shot fairly effectively but this is the general concept of course you know i also would usually you know continue my process here add some rgb curves maybe bring down the levels a bit you know experiment with some other color correction options but these are the general concepts here i hope this video was helpful as always feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let me know what kind of techniques or tutorials you'd like to see from this shot or in general for your Blender visual effects projects. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you're interested in this channel. We really appreciate all of your support. I'll see you guys next time.